Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Avinash and in this video, I'm going to talk about um, Amazon Redshift uh, serverless option. So basically, uh, this serverless uh, is recently introduced one and um, whenever you are choosing this Redshift serverless, right, you no need to provision any uh, cluster. So just like um, Aurora serverless or Lambda or DynamoDB where we can simply like you know create a table start using that uh, right so in similar manner for this redshift also we no need to create any cluster we can start storing the information and uh, we can go with pay as you go mechanism and if you're trying this serverless for the first time AWS is giving uh, $300 credit uh, whenever we are trying for the first time all right so let's go and let's start creating our serverless cluster so first let's go to this redshift serverless so primarily the serverless contains two settings one is namespace second one is um, work group so this work group is going to contain how much capacity we want to give this capacity we are going to call it as a rpu redshift processing units so based on the uh, RPU we are selecting we are going to get the capacity to store the data how much data we can store like uh, 128 GB or right uh, uh, 512 GB data or 2 TB 4 TB such type of um, huge data also we can store here in the redshift right so such type of uh, computing resources we have to define under our group and um, under namespace we can define uh, objects and uh, users collection of objects and users so you can whenever you're trying for the first time you can go with the default settings or you can even use customized settings also so i'm going with customized settings here and i'm going to call this target namespace as uh, my first namespace and uh, default database is going to be dev and i'm going to set up admin user credentials where uh, admin user name is uh, redshift admin and password i'm going with a manual password all right and if you want to associate any iam role we can choose that in our previous video we created one iam role i'm using same role here and if you want to enable any logging you can use the logging here so along with that namespace if you want to create a work group you can give work group name here i'm going to call this work group as my first work group and capacity so minimum capacity it starts from eight and maximum is 5 to well but whenever you are choosing this 8 right we have some limitations the maximum data we can store is just 128 gb data right so if you want to uh, get complete information about this uh, rpu uh, rpu redshift limitations there is an article from aws uh, you can refer that article as well understanding the serverless capacities right so yeah consideration when using this redshift uh, serverless when we can go with that so you can refer that so i'm going with the base capacity the minimum capacity available that is uh, 8 rpu and in what vpc you want to launch what security group you want to which which subnets uh, you want to choose then you can save configuration all right that's it now we have created our um, uh, basic configuration of uh, redshift uh, serverless this is not going to take uh, much time within a minute it will be ready so we can uh, start using this if you observe the primary advantage is pay for use okay it's no cluster no scaling configurations right so that is the advantage here once it is ready we can click on continue also just like um, our provision cluster we can use uh, amazon query editor or query editor version 2 to query data from this um, 
Redshift serverless also. Even if you want to create uh, a work group or namespace manually, we do have an option to create. Okay, so the setup is completed now. Click on continue. All right, so yeah, here, uh, just observe all these things uh, configured. So now, how to get connected to it and how to track the usage uh, here. So in right side, you observe here total compute usage. You click on this work group based on the work group you selected, like, you know, last three hours, last six hours, how much compute capacity you have utilized. So out of that eight, so it will display here. And as I told you, whenever we are trying this Redshift for the first time, uh, Redshift serverless for the first time, we are going to get $300 credits, right? So the $300 credit uh, status, how much we got and out of that, how much we already utilized, we can get the status here. And also in left pane, we have this query editor. You go to query editor and So this is um, serverless work group we created. So you, when you click on this, it will ask you the connectivity method. You want to go with federated or you want to go with database username and password. So yeah, I have given username as a Redshift admin and I have set up a password while creating this work group, right? I'm going to use same username and password, then create connection. All right, you can observe here. We just got connected to this. Um, we just got connected to the serverless. So even sample data also here, we can import and we can start coding data. We can load data, we can create schemas within this work group. All right, um, so uh, that is how exactly we can create a Aurora red, uh, Redshift. Uh, serverless and connecting to it. Also, as I told you, if you decided to increase at uh, RPUs, you can go to this work group configuration, whatever the work group we created, we can observe that work group here. At any time, if you decided to um, like, uh, you know, upgrade this, you can um, go to actions and you can edit base RPU capacity. So currently it is eight, you can choose 16 or 24. So that without any downtime, that is going to take effect. And these uh, increments of eights, RPUs, we cannot uh, choose customized one, it's increments of eight. And also this namespace, right? So um, this Redshift has a namespace, right? So this namespace actually contains like, you know, our database backup information, security and encryption information, right? We can even integrate with zero ETL integrations. So those uh, configuration things, the, the schema level, user level things we can configure here. For example, this is dev database. You want to uh, edit the admin credentials. You forgot that Redshift admin user credentials. You want to reset that. You have to do that under namespace. So namespace contains schema and user information. Work group actually contains the compute information. If you want to get connect by using third party tools, here is the endpoint, port number and um, uh, database. You can use this and you can get connected to it. All right, that is all about uh, Amazon um, Redshift serverless. So you try and um, explore these options. You have $300. Right, that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please spare some time and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you again in next video. Thank you guys.